Hello friends, Dapper Dravi here, and welcome back to another pack a day. Um, unfortunately, this is not the exact setup I was going for, but it's the one I'm going to work with right now. Um, we have two more packs here, two Zygarde packs today to open up for you. But I did want to go over what we've pulled so far a little bit. So, you know, first, first thing we got was... I don't know, I think that first week we didn't really pull anything super notable. Um, yeah, that was in the second week. So I think in the second week we started off with our... Uh, earlier this week we started off with a, a Greninja pull. Oh, our first thing actually was the, the boxes, that's what it was. Was the two... The two... Uh, the two boxes. So we started off with Greninja and an Ultra Necrozma. That was our, our start off of pulls um, with, of course, the Malamar promos, but we won't go into that. We've actually started building our Malamar deck, but it's not it's not quite there. As you saw, it has a Judge in there. I think it still has Timer Ball as well. So we're still working on that. Um, don't have quite enough Mysterious Treasures either. And uh, we're able to put some stuff into our Solgaleo deck as well. But we started off with these two, started the next week, and pulled actually another Greninja, so that's pretty nice, two full art Greninjas so far. Um, we got into our Elite Trainer box, and that's where we got, you know, um, actually, before that, we got ourselves a, a, another Beast Ring in that, uh, out of the pack of days. So we have another Beast Ring, and then out of the Elite Trainer box, be able to pull, you know, a baby buzz hole, which is just a useful card because it can use another beast ring. Actually, it can also use a uh, beast energy. So we're able to get a beast ring and a beast energy, as well as some flying bacon. Not known is that I did also do uh, an opening on Twitter and pulled a second flying bacon. Um, and then, if you guys were watching, keeping up on the pack of days, you probably saw this beauty. That is the Naganadel Rainbow Rare. But I just wanted to show off, you know, how we're doing. How we're doing so far. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. There is a code for you guys. Um, I'll probably keep the other one now. Um, let's see what's in this Zygarde pack. We're gonna guess a, a water energy. I'm thinking, thinking. It's grass to go with the Sidewire. Now that one's probably going to uh, fade away. Actually, is there any major orange spot we want to get rid of right now? I'll just go ahead and stack these up, actually. So we're doing pretty well. I, we're not getting, like, any trainers. Oh, we got the full art D-Anti, too. So that D, that's somewhere. Um, we'll stick these in the corner here. Out of the way. The grass energy to cover Decidueye, right? Uh, now we'll get rid of it. So, we're going to start things off with two hands. That binacle with the allotment. Searching magnets so that magnum might cubone bone bone cubone bone Bunnelby with a collect a snover We're going heal helios with the volt wave and ultra recon squad You can use those uh, Those ultra beasts, you know discard them and get three cards for each one you discard that way Diggers be with the mountaintop mining and there we go. There we go a very very pretty prism the ANSI and our rare is a beast ring that is the best green code you guys can get the best green code you guys can get right there right there best green code <laughs> can't even can't even function now wow best green code a Deancy Primism star looking so clean this is a very successful week of pack a days I'm going to say Got some very nice Prism Stars. And we got probably the most sought after rare in the thing. And that's number three. And those are all going to be going in my Dusk Main deck. Dusk Main Garbodor. Some Tempest Trash. It's starting to come together. In case anybody was wondering about Tempest Trash and how it's going. Um, I think a deck is super worth it. It's just getting getting better now. So we're gonna see what we get in this 
other pack. We're gonna start things off with a Froakie though. Not my Pokeballs preventing me from throwing stuff in the trash. Okay, one, two, and three. That's an energy. That energy is going to be another grass type. Nope, that one's dark. So we'll get that out of the way. Get rid of that other trash and flip it over. We're gonna start things off with the Frubbles. You know, you want to make it so your opponent can't move. Oh, wait. I mean, you can move quicker. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Does he literally slide, like, skate over his Frubbles in the anime? Flay baby. How you doing, Flay baby? Flay baby. A Gibble with the Ascension Clotcher. With those, uh, when you're going through the river, you catch catching yourself some Clotcher. Some destructive sound. I can also go with Garbodor. Uxie has that memory skip. And I realize, uh, after watching the, uh, the battle against myself with the uh, with the building battle kits. I realized that if I would have put Oopsie out one turn earlier, um, I would have been able to stop uh, Ultra Necrozma in its tracks to not be able to attack by using Memory Skip. Crasher Wake, you know, you pair that with those Aqua Patches. Some Psychic Abduction. I don't know why his elf wants to abduct people, but he does. Clef Key is the reverse and our rare. Final pack of pack of days this week is a Alolan Marowak with that Limbo Limbo. I actually was searching for this on online, and maybe I can throw it again with Nine Tails now um, in IRL. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by, and like I said, look at that green code. That's a green code for you guys. So I'll bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Maybe then I can actually get something better together. I was trying to do like a green screen overlay on top of something else. Uh, we'll see what I can do with this, but yeah, that's, that's really all I can do. Alright, bye bye guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye.